Hello, my friends, and welcome, welcome to another session with the older man. Today, we're going to talk about marriages once again. We're going to talk about being a traditional wife versus being a modern wife. You know, there's always this huge debate about what a man should require from a woman or what he should require from a wife. And here's the reality of the situation. You can only do the best you can as a husband. And if a woman finds a good man that provides at least, at least 50% of her her bills, her happiness, her whatever. If, if In other words, if the man brings enough peace and joy to her, not to complete her, that's a whole myth. There's no such thing. You have to be complete in order to enter into a relationship. But you need a man to enhance, develop, help you grow. If you're not getting that man, then you might be miserable later on down the line. You cannot force a man to do more than he's actually going to do right up front. Note the word I use, force. You can encourage him, you can inspire him, but that's different. Now let's look at the man. Here's the thing about marriages, and I'm telling you this from a man who's going into his 19th year of being married to the same woman. Plus, I've been divorced twice. Very short marriages prior, three years maximum. Now, I'm telling you this from life experiences. Marriages are freaking hard. But nothing that is good has ever been easy. You name me one thing. You will not be able to name me one thing. Anything that is rare is hard to attain. Anything that is easy to get has no value. Name me one thing that is easy to get that is considered valuable. Just one. One. Anything. The reality of it is, guys, is that most people are lazy in relationships and most people today are selfish. So before we get into the first video, you know what I'm going to ask. Give me a thumbs up on this particular video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you want to support the channel, join our membership system. It's easy to do. It's free right now. Just log in to askanolderman.com. If you'd like to book a chat with me, which is one great way to support the channel, because you get to contribute something and I get to give you something back. I don't beg for money. I do not want you guys to give me money just for the sake of giving me money. I prefer to provide some value back to you. Yeah, beyond just these videos that I'm doing. I know a lot of you always say, oh, you know, these videos are invaluable to us as young men and women, you know, but I like to give even more back. So if you contribute to me and I can give you back valuable advice one on one, that is awesome. We both win. Yeah. And if you want to just have a response from me free, just go over to Instagram and just send me a voice message on Ask an Older Man. All right, let's get into what we're going to really talk about because we want to address this issue with whether a wife should be traditional or she should be modern. And here's the thing. I really don't think that there is much of a choice, really. You know what? Let's get into the first video. Let's hear what this lady says on the street first, okay? Because I think this is where most women's heads are at. What is your take on being a housewife in today's day and age? I would love to be a housewife personally, but I think it's just not possible in today's day and age. Why? Um, I think both, especially if both people are making money, which is like usually what happens unless the guy is like super rich. Like you can't, I don't think you can really take on the role of being a housewife and have a full-time job. Like it has to be one or the other or you have to split responsibilities. What if he had enough money where you didn't have to work at all? Would you be okay with that? Yeah, of course. For the rest of your life. It's the dream, yeah. All right, which to me and what I hear from a lot of women, of course, they would love to be a stay at home mom. Listen to that. She'd love to be a stay at home. mom. I mean, think about it. If you had found a man that was wealthy enough in today's day and age that you could stay home with the kids and not have to stress about commuting to work, going to the office, dealing with an asshole boss, dealing with traffic dealing with oh man i gotta get my hair done today i gotta get my keep my nails done i gotta keep up my appearances and just having that option to just say you know what don't have to go anywhere i'm good i'm here with my kids i get them to sleep i clean the house I throw the clothes in the washing machine i throw them in the dryer i fold them oh do that twice a week i cook a few meals two to three times a week most of the time i'll cook so that i'll have food the next day 
It's not that difficult, guys. Not in today's modern society. So, most of the time, she'll have time to do something else. I always, always tell any woman that is working from home, find a side hustle that you could do online. That's the best way to do it, okay? Or find some remote job that you can work three to four times a week or two to three times a week. As long as you're occupying your brain with outside stimulus. Because I can tell you, the kiddie thing day in, day out will drive you crazy. Back in the day when there was nothing else to do besides manual labor and take care of kids, you didn't have to think of much else. But in today's modern society where you're constantly being bombarded with more and more stimulus, you cannot rest that brain. You cannot. We don't have that attention span anymore. Most ladies don't have that sort of attention span. They will suffer from FOMO fear of missing out. So this young lady is technically asking for a traditional lifestyle. She would love it. But then on the other hand, we get this woman who says this. The women that are telling you the trad wife life is amazing are the little 22 year old, 24 year old girls that just got in it themselves. I am literally just trying to be dead ass honest. Being a trad wife really fucking sucks. I did it for 10 years. I got married when I was 26. I thought I knew everything. Oh my gosh. It was the next phase of life. College was over. Everybody was moving on. Everybody else was getting engaged and getting married and getting jobs and moving away. And I had the majorest FOMO of my life. The guy that I had been dating for a couple of years was like, hey, do you want to marry me? And I was like, um, I guess so. I remember calling like every woman in my family to be like, hey, how do you fucking know you're supposed to get married? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. What am I, what am I supposed to do? And they were like, yeah, great. Good job. Congrats. You know, I was like, okay, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. But it, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Like, think of yourself when you're 10 years old. And then when you're 15 years old, you really grow and change as a person. Then from 15 to 20. Well, when you get married at 25, at 35, you might be a different person, you know, just having children alone, the gravity of that sometimes really falls on you and you see the world differently and you do start to change some of the ideals and morals that you had. You're going to see the world through a completely different lens. So when you give up all of your autonomy to this other person and then start bringing other people into the world, you may set yourself up to be in a real shitty spot. And I'm saying that with 10 years experience and now five years removed from that experience. I've got five years to look back and say, man, I really, I really fucked up. I should have stayed. And I got to tell you the desire that I only wish I left sooner. I only fucking wish I could have like healed faster, but fuck, I feel like I did a good job. It's so good luck. Oh, man, there's so much to unpack here, but I didn't want to stop the video to just respond to each one of her whining problems. Number one, getting married at 25 is actually, or 26, she said, is the perfect age. Listen, a woman have between the ages of 18 and 24, she should have found her right man at around 1920 and had around three to four years with him to make sure that he was the right guy. Marry that man, okay? This idea that she got married too young at 26 shows me that women have this preconceived idea that they have not yet developed. I know they go around saying, oh, my prefrontal lobe in my brain isn't fully developed. That does not make you a woman. This part of the brain does not make you a woman. It is when you are able to bear a child that's when you become a woman. Our ancestors were becoming mothers way back when they were 14, 15 years old. Women think for some reason that they are not mature at 26. Are you kidding me? You're almost middle aged for a lot of people who die at around 55 from freaking medical complications. <laughs> Oh man, you know, I'm 58. You know how many freaking people I know that came up with me that have died in my lifetime? Yeah, uh, quite a few, quite a few. All right. So this idea that you weren't ready, when are you going to be ready? 35? 
you're in geriatric pregnancy, which man going to want you? We know how that's working out for a lot of 35-year-old women right now who can't find a man. When I listen to women like this, it shows me that there are certain people, certain women who are not designed for marriage. They're not. They're really not. Marriage isn't for everybody. Just so that you guys understand that. It is part of us as a species, meaning we are primates. At the end of the day, we are bloody mammals and primates. And part of that is that we always look for a mate. We always look for a mate. Men, we want multiple mates, but society have groomed us into thinking we need one. Women, on the other hand, they look for the best possible mate they can find and they settle with that mate because she needs to ensure that that man can help her raise that child. So when we look at it from that perspective, we all know that we're, we're constantly looking for that perfect person to be with. So either she felt that she didn't find the perfect person or she's a very difficult, selfish person. The first lady in the video says, I would be happy. I would be more than overjoyed if I had someone to give me a traditional life where I could stay home with the kids. This woman is complaining that she had that and she hated it. You cannot please women, my friends. I'm sorry. I hate to say it like that, but it's just impossible. The second you give them one thing and they've had it long enough, they will become tired, bored of it. And then they want something else. Give the woman on the streets and who can't pay the bills and having a hard time. She will say, oh God, I need a man to take care of me. Give the woman a man who can take care of her. Oh, trad life. No, no, no. That's not what we want. I'm telling you guys, don't try to please women. Women realize that you got to grow up at some time, man. You got to freaking say, hey, I need to mature, I need to be a woman, I need to be an adult, and it's not always about me. Number one, to just kind of summarize my situation, um, my baby was about a year and nine months when I did finally go back to work. Because I hated being at home, I hated being isolated, I hate looking a mess all the time, I hated feeling the way that I felt, I feel like I didn't get outside enough, I feel like I didn't have a social life, I feel like all I was was just a glorified, all I felt like I was was glorified help. I took care of a baby, I cooked and I cleaned. That was not my idea of being a wife or being a mother. And I hated it. Some women love it. That's fine. If that's what you want to do. But I didn't like it at all. And I went back to work. And now I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the problem, man. Women have been conditioned to be like men. That was not my idea of being a wife or a mother. And all she described were the duties responsible and required for being a wife and a mother. Take care of the child, cook, clean, and mother and nurture the child. But she felt like glorified help. So what she's actually saying is, I choose to pay someone else a third party to do these jobs that were required of me and then I go out and work because I need that. And listen, some women require this. Some women are not designed to be housewives, guys. And you can't blame them. That's just the way it is. Some women are not cut out for it. Societal pressures and the feminist push for a woman to say, I'm going to be happier working for some women, that urge is overwhelming for them. Don't fight it. You got to let them go with it. But now she don't realize that she's paying over freaking 30, 40% of her income for how to have someone else take care of the duties that she should be doing. You can't make it make sense, but you just got to go with it, my friends. The number one rule as a trad wife, this is your duty as a wife. A man's home is his castle, so he should be treated as a king. He's working a stressful job, maybe working long hours, just so he can provide for you and the family. So he rightfully deserves peace. That being said, it's every wife's duty to appreciate her man and all his hard work. Show him how much you truly appreciate him, okay? He is your king, and you are his queen. That is your duty. Listen, that's not the number one rule as a trad wife. That's the number one rule of a wife, period. 
But here's the other kicker. That's also the number one rule for any man who has a wife that's working hard. Make her feel appreciated. It works both ways. So, I mean, listen, she's pushing this as one of the rules of a trad wife in the sense that the man is out there bossing his ass so that she could have a soft life. But like I said, man, some women don't even appreciate a soft life. Some women don't want a soft life. Either way you go, you're going to screw up. Here is my recommendation. Always make your woman work. Do not, I say, and I repeat, do not have her sitting at home doing shit all with the kids. Most women will cheat. Most housewives like that will cheat because the boredom sets in hard. And trust me, I know how hard it is sitting at home, working from home, because I'm doing it now. I'm doing this uh, YouTube thing full time, and I rarely get to see people, and it gets to you sometimes, right? Because it's quite isolating. So I can imagine how a woman feels sitting at home all day, not, not having any other activity to do besides look at the child and take care of the house. There's a lot of free time. So all I'm saying to you, gentlemen, is that encourage a woman to get out there and work, right? Yes, you guys are going to say, yeah, but most affairs happen in office. No, they don't. Most affairs happen with women sitting at home on that phone with Instagram, with Tinder, with Bumble. That's where all the problems happen. More problems happen there than at the office. At the office, most people will get in trouble. Most men will get in trouble if they start office romances. That's what most women are complaining about now because most men don't want to talk to them at the office. So trust me, guys, it's safer for you to get your woman outside of the workplace, earning some money, earning her own money, making her feel that she has autonomy over her own money and her own mental state. Yes, you're going to have to pay child care and school and all that other stuff. But the point is, it's, it's safer for the relationship. If both of you are paying into the pot and saving enough and living below your means, you will be happy because you're not going to have the stress of debt knocking at your door. If one of you loses your job, you're okay because at least the other one can hold you up until the other gets a job again. You should be doing only that, pooling your funds, investing together, living below your means, and always, always, always communicating with each other on all issues. That's the only way you're going to have a successful marriage. That's what we do. Okay, so my friends, I'm going to cut this one short. Give me a thumbs up if you reached this far. I hope you learned something in this particular session with the older man. Subscribe, of course, and, and book a chat if you have any issues at all. Okay, so until next time, my friend, remember, whenever in doubt, always, always. Ask an older man. I'll see you soon. Cheers.